talking about the approaches in cross cultural psychology. We have discussed evolutionary, natural science, social science, and environmental approaches. Now we are going to discuss integrative approach. In this, because cultures mix, so cultural mixtures have given rise to integrative approach. Integrative always means that two more or multiple things are integrated. They are combined and joined. Cultures are constantly moving and mixing. People move to other cultures. Uh, people learn about other cultures. People accept other cultures. It's more and more happening in world of today because of access to mass media where at a click you know what the people in the world are doing, feeling, saying, and going through. So cultural identity is becoming increasingly dynamic. Uh, it's changing. It's in a flux. It's in a changing condition. Uh, there is co-mingling of various backgrounds, interests, ideas, and choices in one individual self. Wo kisi culture ka dress utha sakta hai, kisi culture ki technology utha sakta hai, wo kisi culture ki zaban utha sakta hai. And that becomes a mixture in anyone's personality. You look at one single individual and you would say, hmm, this seems like it comes from certain place of the world. So that's the modern world. It's co-mingling. The cultural mixtures is related to the concept of globalization. Globalization is based on few interconnected principles. Jo ek se se jude hai. Ek to hai economic, political. Free market, anybody can sell anything anywhere. And democracy, which means everybody has a choice to vote and choose their leaders. These two basic concepts, economic, political, like democracy and, and free market, have shaped the globalization scene in the day of today. Cultural and psychological factors, which is like freedom of choice in various matters. Job kya karniya padna kya hai, shadi ki choice hai, kis chair mein rehna hai, you know, how are you going to earn your money? How are you going to save your money? Uh, so freedom of choice is a hallmark of globalization because there is so much that globalization offers. The whole world is open to you. Tolerance, because jitni zyada cheeze hoti hai, jitni awaze, rang, log, aur rasme hoti hai, utna hi aapko apne andar tolerance karni hoti hai because these things are to be accepted. Okay, log different honge, dunya different honge, cultures different honge. And more tolerance is built. And also you become more open to experience. Aapke ye khas strength hai, khas personality ki characteristic hai, ki hum naye tajarbaat ke liye open ho. And it's very helpful uh, when you move or um, to other cultures or you want to learn about other cultures. The process of globalization may bohat se areas hai aur bohat se human activities hai. Production hai, industry hai, language hai, music hai, dress hai, producing education hai, sab se to education globalize hoi hai. Aur ye cultural or national boundaries ko cross karta hai. We all know ke global ka matlab hi hota hai, ke is mein kisi dousre mulk ke saath hamari koi boundary nahi hai, hamari kisi culture ke saath koi boundary nahi hai. Isi liye jo psychological values and tolerance or openness ki wo logon ki zindagiyo mein bohat zaruri ho jati hai. Psychologists ne teen view banai hai jiske zariye hum globalization ko dekh sakte hai. Pehla view ye predict karta hai ke local culture weak ho jati hai jab globalization hoti hai aur ek naya international culture ban jata hai. Individualism ho jata hai, competition bad jata hai, aap har koi efficient ho na chata hai taake wo global trends mein compete kar sake. Dousra view ye hai, ye assume karta hai, ki aaj ki jo globalization ke patterns hai, wo cultures ko dur kar rahe hai ek dousre se, wo apna culture ki bajaye, wo culture ek dousre se aur separate ho rahe hai. Aur iska natija ye hota hai, ki jo dunia mein, jo ameer loog hai, ya wealthy loog hai, unki lives mein behtari hoti hai, jo ek small proportion hai. 
तीसरा व्यू ये सजेस्ट करता है कि ग्लोबलाइजेशन जो है वो हाफ ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड की जिंदगी में फर्क डालता है एंड द अदर हाफ विल सफर दे विल नॉट बेनिफिट फ्रॉम इट ये चीज लोकल प्रोड्यूस में बहुत देखी गई है कि छोटे किसानों का नुकसान है क्योंकि बड़ी कंपनीज जो है वो ग्लोबली प्रोड्यूस कर रही हैं बड़ी फूड चेन ग्लोबली प्रोड्यूस कर रही हैं तो आपका तनूर तो उससे मुकाबला नहीं कर सकता ना आपका ढाबा तो उससे मुकाबला नहीं कर सकता सो लार्ज ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल सफर विद साइकोलॉजिकल अनसर्टेनिटी के हमारा मुकाम क्या है हमारा मुस्तबिल क्या है उनको एंगजाइटी भी होती है क्योंकि उनको एक कल्चरल ट्रांजिशन करनी पड़ती है एक छोटे जगह में रहने वाले को जो है वो एक और तरह के कल्चर को एडॉप्ट करना पड़ता है दुनिया के लेवल पे